OK, so this time I'd like to talk about log analysis, specifically using the Microsoft Excel uh, program. There are many uh, uh, log analysis programs, but they can be expensive and uh, they're more specialized. And uh, in many cases, Microsoft Excel is all you're going to need. So let's get on with it. OK, so uh, the file we're going to talk about today is test.log. And in my computer, that's opened automatically by Notepad. Yours might be slightly different, that whatever doesn't matter, because what we want to do is we want to go back, right click on that, and open it using Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel has many, many traits that you don't know about, or maybe you do know about them, I don't know, but uh, they, it can be really super handy to take a look at these logs and help you organize them, because that's all I really need to do is organize these logs. And it's going to open up like this. All right. So uh, all of those, all that data is in the A column. Uh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's spread out like a regular spreadsheet, but it's not, right? All of this is all in the A column. So we needed to uh, separate out. And by the way, uh, there's not going to be any headers on this. So you're not going to know what each header is. You're just going to have to figure that out on your own. And this on the left here looks like, and is generally on the left-hand column, about time, right? Those are what we call epoch time. And you can go to any website, and in this case, it's uh, unixtimestamp.com. Uh, and right down here, you'll put in whatever that timestamp is, and it will convert it to a legitimate uh, English type uh, human red time date stamp. And that could be the answer to one of your NCL questions easily. Uh, we see that all the time. Okay, so. Anyway, getting back to it, all of that data is in the A column. So we highlight the A column, and then we're going to go up to the to your data tab right here, and then we're going to change it from text to columns, text to columns. And it's going to look like that. Do you want a fixed width or do you want it delimited? Well, we need it delimited because a fixed width is like five characters, six characters, seven characters. That's not going to do it for us. We need to delimit it by certain characters. In this case, we're going to use the tab, uh, semicolon, comma, space. You don't want to use colons. You don't want to use uh, periods. All of that is an indicator, is part of an IP address. We don't want to split up our IP addresses in these logs, so don't use that. Okay, so when you do that, this is what you come up with. All right, there, the columns are kind of compressed. That's why you see this E, uh, that's to the uh, ninth power, but that's because we haven't spread out the columns. When you spread out the columns, it's going to look like that. And that's what we need it to look like right there. Now we can work with this data. You can do a search function. You can do a sort function. You can do all kinds of things. For example, if I was to ask, um, let's see, I was to ask uh, HTTP methods right there. All right, those are HTTP methods. You know what they are. There's get, post, uh, and many other HTTP methods, but if I were to ask you a question like how many uh, get methods were used on this log, well, all you would have to do is sort by column F right there, right? Sort by column F, and the top uh, 35 are get. So your answer is 35, just that simple. Now, you might say, well, I can count that myself. Why do I need Excel to do that? A lot of these logs are going to be 200,000 lines long, 75,000 lines long. You don't really have the ability or the time to go through and count every get method in a 200,000 line long uh, log. So let's let Excel do that work for us. In some cases, it might look, talk, talk about uh, the results of your, your query, right? You might return a 200, which is good, right? The 200 series are, are, are good requests. 400 series are bad requests. Everybody like, has seen a 404 or 401. Those are bad requests. And there's everything in between. Uh, you can look those up. That's for a different class. But you can sort by uh, all of those request results. OK. Um, in this case, I did a search all, or find all, rather. Up here in the right-hand corner, you, you'll see that little bit pair of binoculars up there. Click on that. Click on find all and type in whatever you want. Post. All right, so we're looking for a HTTP method called post. So I type that in, and I search, and it comes out with 78 cells found. That means there are 78 uh, elements of post 
written in there right that make sure you're in the right column column F because if the word post was somewhere out in here just randomly uh, it would get counted as well because you're not looking for a specific uh, uppercase lowercase you can do that um, but make sure you just search by column F in this case whatever column you're on and it will find every post every get every whatever you want to do okay so uh, let's go through a little bit of a quiz along with this video I've sent you uh, a file test.log the same one I was working on here and I want you to take a look through it and see if you can open it convert it to Excel uh, sort it into those columns and start searching for things like how many successful requests were made to this server what's a successful request look like well that's for you to know right and so uh, do a search for that and see how many of those there were what time in English was the last request made that left hand column is your request find out when the last one was made if it was me I would sort highest to lowest and then uh, I would then you'd have your number just convert it to English what was the most common HTTP method used count how many gets how many posts how many of other all the other HTTP methods and or let Excel count for you and then just tell me what the answer to that is what IP address sent this server the most requests okay I think by now you know how to do that so uh, you can answer that question for me and what company did the user request for his or her virus protection uh, take a little bit more uh, intuitive research but I think you guys can do it okay so that's basically all we have as far as log analysis it's very simple really using the data tab and convert text to columns is your key once you do that to convert text to columns use the delimited method and in the delimited method don't pick periods and don't pick uh, colons because that will screw up IP addresses and some other stuff you have to have together uh, everything else can be separated into columns search for in columns and sorted by columns um, I hope this helps if you have any questions feel free to email me and I'll be happy to uh, to hear it. thanks very much